Okay, so we've opened up iMovie on the uh, MacBook Air I have, um, and I've started a project called Green Screen uh, iMovie, um, and I've dropped some clips in here. These are stills you can see by the, the little uh, camera icon, and these are, are video. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've dropped in my video clip uh, introduction that we just shot on the back of the green screen. Um, and you can see uh, I've split the clip. So the first thing I did is I went through and I watched uh, the clip by, by hitting play and I uh, split the clip where I thought I needed to to uh, drop in my uh, green screen effects. So in order to do that, um, you just get onto a clip like that and you can see it has a sort of a yellow border on it now. That's the clip I've selected. And if I wanna split it, I just right click it and hit split the clip. And if I split the clip, you can see that one clip now is two clips, okay? And the reason I split the clip is because I want this part, this intro to play uh, without um, it up if I need to, okay? So um, not to worry if you do make mistake and, and split the clip in the wrong spot, you can uh, always do the undo. Uh, and I did two moves here, so undo, undo, split. <clears throat> that part is one clip now. So. Very easily, if I want to bring in um, some some uh, stills or some other video clips, I've created a, a, a moment, uh, a project uh, a folder here so I can keep these groups of, of media together. And the way I did that is I just went and clipped uh, onto this library, this uh, um, iMovie library, right clicked it, hit new event, name the new event. In this case, I called it green screen iMovie. Um, and then I start importing my media. So if I hit this little arrow here, it allows me to select files. So uh, I'm gonna do that. So it takes a bit longer when I'm screen recording uh, using more of the resources of the computer. What it's gonna do is it's gonna open up a, uh, a window and allow me to import um, either stills or video or whatever it is that we need to import. So here's our window. So I'm just gonna look at my desktop and I think I have another uh, unsplash uh, royalty free still that I can bring in. So let's do that. Uh, let's try this one. It might be one I've already brought in. Yeah, I think it was. Try that again. And let's go with this one. There it is. So I'm going to import selected. It's going to bring that. Uh, let's say I want to drop this in here. I just drag this clip. The still clip. And I'm going to drag it. And drop it in. Crop. Um, selection. So by default, it does what's called a Ken Burns effect. And a Ken Burns effect makes it uh, um, sort of appear like the still image is moving or the camera is panning over the, the, the still image. Uh, most of the time, I like to just do crop to fit, to fill, and it'll take a portion that's the screen size. And I can drag this window any which way I like. So if I want it to be sort of the center of the trail, I can drag it there. Okay. Um, and then on the bottom clip, I'm sorry, the top clip, I've already set this um, to say this is a green screen, blue screen, okay? So it, it knows to crop out the green screen. So I'm going to take out this clip because I don't want that in there. Um, and I've already dropped in these stills. Uh, if I want this still to be a bit longer, right now it's at 9.3 seconds. If I want it to be 16 seconds, I can drop it and drag it and, and uh, make it longer. So, but I'm going to match it to the size of the, the, the clip above it. And I'm going to move this back over. Okay. Um, so let's see. Um, when we play this, you can see I'm going to transition. And if you wanted to put in transitions and stuff, they have them all in here. I can do that. I can say, oh, I want it to, uh, you know, whatever, cube open. I can drag that in between the clips and if I play from here then I'm going to show you how we can start to use software to put together scenes so um, for example 
I'm going to inlay right here uh, a couple of shots from. Uh... So you can put in transitions. You can also lay in titles, uh, which is nice in iMovie. They have a whole bunch of preset titles. Um, so if I wanted to put in a title, I can just grab one. Um, let's see, let's pick one here. Oh, organic, let's try that. And you just drop in a title where you want it to go. So in this case, I'm gonna drop it right at the start. When I click on this title, it's dropped in the title as you can see make that title a little bit longer and I'm on that title uh, my machines just catching up to me here uh, with the screen recording it's taking a little more resources than I'd like um, and I can just click onto this and I can put in whatever I want so I'll put in my name Like that and now that title will play at the start so if I go back to the start of that clip and hit play what's up everybody uh, today we're gonna shoot the final segment in our green screen series so you can see if you want to add titles you can add titles really simply um, so once you have this laid out the way you want so I've taken this clip I've split it I've added in my stills I've added in uh, a little uh, lawnmower clip here in behind that makes it look like I'm going to be run over by a lawnmower. Uh, once I have arranged and, and done everything I wanted to do, you can in, add in audio if you want. Um, there are built-in uh, royalty-free audio tracks in um, uh, iMovie, which is really nice. So they have everything from like musical uh, uh jingles to sound effects to machinery um, you can play any of these kind of things you can drop these sounds in so if I wanted a servo move movement which is that sound um, I can just grab that clip and drop it in and it's just drag and drop so I've just dropped it in I can extend it make it longer make it shorter whatever it is I want to do once I've done that in iMovie and I have it the way I want it and I'm ready to go, I can hit this uh, uh, little icon that looks like a, a messaging, if you have an iPhone, it looks like a messaging or a share icon. Um, I can hit that, it's in the top right hand corner and it'll ask me, well what do you want to do? Do you want to email it? Do you want to add it to iTunes? Do you want to put it right up to YouTube in which case you have to put in your credentials? Do you want to prepare it for Facebook or Vimo or do you want to make it an image? How do you want to do it? So I want a file and what I'm going to do is have a file. I've already put my name as my project. It tells me how big it's going to be and how long it, the clip is, two minutes, two seconds. Um, I have the resolution set uh, to 1080. I want the video and audio, so it's going to do that. Um, higher quality, faster compress. So all I have to do is hit next and then that will start to process. So it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm just going to put it right onto my desktop and then you're going to see up here this little icon is like a, a pie and it'll start to fill as it processes as it renders the video. Once that video is rendered you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to upload it to iMovie, if you want to put it onto a uh, DVD, if you want to do any of those things you can. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna play with it, and we'll end up putting it up on YouTube. Um, but we also want to show you um, in the next segment here how to do the same type of thing with um, a little app called uh, Do Ink Green Screen. And uh, we're gonna walk through that. And because the reason I want to show you that is because not every school has a Mac available, and Macs are fairly expensive. Most schools have either tablets 
or they have uh, someone that has access to a tablet, maybe a teacher has one from home that they bring in or whatever it is, um, they can use the tablet and purchase the app relatively cheaply. I'll put the uh, link to the Doink app in our description and uh, you can download it and start using your iPad to shoot video, to edit video, um, and then uh, also share that video at the end. So it's a great way to do it if you're just trying to get in on a budget. As I said, when I shot my video, I used my DSLR camera um, and I had the whole setup there. So it's, it's a little more expensive to do it this way. iMovie gives you a few more options, um, but doing does a nice, nice job. So we're gonna look at that in this next segment. Okay, so we're gonna use an iPad mini here and we're gonna uh, fire up the Do Ink green screen app. We're gonna create a new project. Um, so this is an app that's really simple to use. Um, we'll create a new project and we'll be able to uh, add in a green screen shot video, which you could shoot right on the iPad if you wanted to. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna pull one. There's a, there's a stock one here I'll find in the, in the library. Um, that I can pull. It's just two soccer balls spinning in the air. Um, so I'll pull that up. Um, so you add layers basically and if you look at the bottom portion of the app screen you'll see that there's uh, layers of uh, that you can add different effects on. So here are the two spinning soccer balls shot on a green screen. Uh, the program has already edited out the, uh, the green screen part. That's why you see black in behind the soccer balls. Now I'm going to go into, my, into the photos folder and I'm gonna pull up a, um, just a photo, uh, this is in this case, it's an iStock photo, royalty free photo, the one that we used in the iMovie demo of a street in Rome. Um, so I'll put that in. So now we have two soccer balls that are sort of spinning in midair with the, um, uh, soc with the soccer, uh, soccer ball stories are spinning in the air with the uh, Rome backdrop. So if I play that effect, and I've just dropped it in, I haven't edited anything in terms of the length of the, of the um, uh, photo, how long it should show up and whatnot. So it's just in a default time. That's why you see the transition back to the black backdrop. Um, just to give you an idea of how the green screen effect works, how easy it is to do with this app. Um, so I really recommend this Do Ink app, especially for younger kids. Um, it's really inexpensive. I'll put the uh, price here on the screen. Um, and it's a great app. You can fire it up. You can It downloads super quick. You can start using it right away. There's a built-in tutorial on the main screen that will show you exactly how to do all of the effects. Um, but it's inexpensive. Most schools have access to a tablet. In this case, we're using an iPad. Um, most schools have access to a tablet that they can start shooting video on, uh, on their green screen and then dropping in these effects really inexpensively. Kids can pick this app super quick. They, 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 they learn it really, really fast. So uh, all in all, a great, uh, a great app to use and um, we hope you'll uh, take advantage of it. So, uh, I mean, I really like iMovie. iMovie is quite robust in terms compared to this app, um, but uh, it's expensive. If you can't buy a Mac, if you don't have a Mac environment, um, it's expensive to get into that. Um, so you can share the movies once you've exported it. You can share it. You can email it. You can send it to YouTube. Uh, whatever you want to do, um, it's pretty easy to do. Um, so I'll, as I said, um, great, great alternative to iMovie, to Adobe Premiere and uh, Final Cut Pro. Obviously, um, way less expensive. Doesn't, it doesn't have the same uh, features. Uh, you can't do quite as much with it as you could with iMovie even. And then uh, Final Cut and obviously um, Adobe Premiere or even, even above that. So, uh, But it's a great place to start with kids. It's a great place to start with teachers. It's really simple to use, really inexpensive. You can get going like from day one. There's not a steep learning curve to using this app. Um, so uh, highly recommend it and uh, hope you guys will take advantage of it.